What's up, y'all? This is me, Keisha, again, coming. I haven't made any video blogs in a while. And um, it's because I'm back in school and trying to make sure all my stuff is together. You know, I'm trying to work two jobs. Thank the Lord for the two. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to do the full-time student thing. Make sure I graduate in May. Because I'm not trying to be a super senior. And I'm not trying to take five years to get a four-year degree. And all that stuff. I already have my associate's degree. And now I'm pursuing my bachelor as I'm trying to do the damn thing. So if you know what I mean, you know, go ahead and give me my props. You know, you know. Um... Yeah, I've been watching people's video blogs and there's just so much going on in the world and, you know, it's hard for me not to be consumed with my own stuff and I try not to be so self-absorbed, but um, I find that right now that's the best way for me to be. That's the, it, because if I worry about other people, then I'm adding on to my stress, but um, the whole Gina Six thing and Michael Vick and it's just everything in this world like from my college atmosphere because my college is 70% white. It's 16% of black people and out of those 16% I say 13% of the people think they're white and um, I may be exaggerating but you know, I don't feel like for you to be an African American, you have to act a certain way or anything. And I'm not saying that there's a definition of blackness. But everything in this world, from what I'm seeing, is in black and white. Uh, my mom, I love her to death. She's just, she's just not there, you know. So I, I'm coming to this realization. I'm 21 now, and. I'm coming to this realization that I'm all I have and that I can't be dependent on any other person. This is a rude awakening for me because I have no chances or opportunities to fall. If I fall, then it's me. There's no one else. Like, So I have no chances to slip up and for me to have straight out of high school, graduated at 17, 21, finna have my bachelor's at 21. You know, I'm thankful, but when do I get to be a kid? When do I get to be a young adult and just be carefree? I guess that's not the card that I was dealt. And I know that I have a mission and a plan and that I'm trying to fulfill that and I want to fulfill that. And sometimes I ramble on, so you have to forgive me or whatever, but um <clears throat> yeah so basically what i'm telling you now is that i'm going to start days with my video blogs and my hair i don't know i guess this is better than the scarf thing i was doing you know and so i guess you get to see me you know i'm not dressed or anything i just have on a shirt and stuff but um yeah, I'm going to start talking about my views and I'm going to really start doing my video blogs. I have a fiction writing class, so I'm going to start writing some fiction and I probably will share it with you all just to get your viewpoints on it. Um, I don't know what's going on on YouTube, but some of the comments that I get, you know, it's not letting me see them. And I saw that Gia said that she was doing this, her, the same thing was happening to her, so I'm not that concerned or whatever anymore. And with the whole, you know, Miss South Carolina, Miss USA, the girl from South Carolina, you know, this is hilarious to me how these these people are like, she still won third place after answering a question like that. I don't know. What does that say about our country? This isn't even our country. I mean, literally, it could be we built it. African Americans that is black people but I still believe that we're not actual actual citizens and that we're still not first class citizens and that's something that has to be earned and I was watching this blog about someone talking about Oprah and 
how Oprah is just a drone and how she's catered to white audiences. And, you know, I really didn't believe that about Oprah because I'm from Mississippi myself. And so I'm like, oh, Oprah is such a great role model. And I aspire to be like Oprah. She's a plus-size black woman. And, you know, but, you know, when I was really, really going through stuff and I was depressed and I was trying to find hope, I wrote Oprah, and of course she doesn't read the emails, because I'm pretty sure she gets millions, if not thousands, you know, of emails from women, and maybe some men, but um, I really felt sincere with my, my, my message that I wrote to her, and I never received a response, and I don't know if they just wait till a certain time when they have a topic on the show to respond to people, but then I heard other people talking about, you know, that some subject that subject needs to be touched on and how she basically her show is just selling a product the entire show and you know I understand Oprah is only one woman so I can't knock her cause she's a human and we all have humanly flaws um but I don't know and with the whole I gotta tell you about these experiences with these men I've been meeting and how I just need to get myself together y'all I just can't be doing all this because I see that that the mission that God has put me on and, and my purpose and my goal here on in this on this earth you know any small thing can mess up my whole whole flow and I don't want that to happen to me you know so I'm going to post this and then um, I'll probably do a video about something or some topic. My first couple of videos, I look very rough. I will hope that you all will excuse them because I am not representing plus size women very well. And I, that is my motto. I really, well, I, I strive to represent them well. But when you're spiritually down, emotionally down, you know, sometimes you just have to let yourself go. You know, so, um, yeah, you want to make a comment, leave a comment. You know, I was, um, I'm thinking about doing this whole Project New Era thing. I'm, well, I sent, um, Alexis, well, Lexi Lex, she does video blogs. I sent her an email because they're looking for writers and I'm a writer, you know, and, um, but I haven't been persistent. And, you know, we need to make a change. And the first step, if it, if it is just black women, you know, or it, it, I can sit here and talk about it all day on these vlogs. But if I'm not doing anything to make a change or do anything different, then what's the use of me talking? So I love you all. And thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Mwah. All right. Bye-bye.